busy morning. Well, not really. Yes and no. Um, hey, Sherry, how's it going? I, uh, <clears throat> I went out and picked some more beans. Still, only the, um, only the yellow ones are coming for some reason. There, I got my other chopper up and ready for zucchini. Look at this, guys. Remember how I was worried about I wasn't going to get enough zucchini out of those four beds? That's a dish pan, folks. That's a dish pan. I'm freezing more zucchini. How's it going? Going to snap some beans here while we visit. Hey, Kay, the Country Wife's Kitchen. Hi, Seashell. How are you doing today, sweetheart? Uh, I wanted you to go live with me. Um just in case I missed stuff, but I didn't get it set up properly, obviously. Oh, I'm glad. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Southeast Tennessee. Nice. Um, yeah, I went out to pick some beans. Hey, Joe. And uh, I... Uh, I saw a zucchini and I went, ah, I'll let it go, you know. I'll, I'll let it go until it's a little bigger, until I started looking. I wish my watermelon, I got a watermelon that big. Uh, I wish my watermelons would do as good as the zucchini. Diced tomatoes, working on more. Good job. Now, what, are these diced regular tomatoes? Like, do you peel them? How do you dice them if, if you know, if you don't peel them? Because... I have some green beans, but they're crossbreeds. Hey, Stacy, how's it going? Let me make sure I'm on live chat. Am I seeing an... You peel them, like with a pe peeler? Like, I, I've never seen anybody do that. Yeah, I. If you look, if I look at my bathroom window, Joe... Um, why am I sitting with this beside me? If I look out my bathroom window, I can look through the trees into the ravine and there's a uh, there's a maple tree growing re going red. Absolutely. Hey, Ninja Clan Kathy! Stacy, I think I'm in hot water for one minute. And then rip the skin off. Jerk inside out and chop. I I I'd like to see a demonstration of that, actually. Hey, Leona. Hey, from Ontario. And who the heck knew you could can kale? Just tried my first batch. We just got to make sure you debubble it really well. Um, I didn't get a lot of greens. This, well, no, I still I got a lot of celery. Absolutely praying for everybody. In, uh, but, oh, here's my beans. So I'm going to have another small canning of beans. I mean, you know what? If all I get is like, you know, 15 or 20, well, how many have I got now? Eight. So if I get, you know, three more canners worth, I'll be, you know, I'll be happy with that. Who, who's Rini? I'll send you one to your email. Okay. Hey, Jean, my, my potatoes got waist high, but there are no potatoes under the ground. Tiny ones about the size of peas. Why would that be? I don't know. Uh, you're talking to the wrong person about potatoes. Everybody knows I can't grow potatoes. I have tried. Jamestown, New York. Hi, Lori. How are you? So I got a, I got a roast in the oven, the last roast. It was in, um, it was one of the first, when we got, first got it. Wait, look at these beans. Don't you just love these beans? I'm, I'm trying really hard not to eat them. Um, can you seed save seeds from your beans that crossbred? Yeah, that's how they got crossbred is I saved seeds from, from my yellow beans last year. So yeah, I'll be saving seeds for sure. You know, and I don't care whatever. Hey, Hell House, how's it going? Hello. Um, um, 
I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, I don't care if they crossbreed or anything. I'm just going to save seeds, right? I've already, I'm, I'm just tired of the moths atta attacking my cabbage, broccoli, and green peas. Yeah, I had I had an issue with that this year. That's why my cabbages got. Um, am I the only person who gets itchy after my arms being in the beans? Probably from the from the squash too. So I got a I got a uh, the last roast because when we first got that meat, it had a hole in the package, so I vacuum sealed it. So I got a nice cross rib roast with whole potatoes in the. Uh, roast uh, in the Dutch oven in the oven and I'm going to make um, mashed neeps and carrots to go with it and I will probably put a Yorkshire pudding in right at the end when I'm making the gravy gravy I get that from my tomatoes Howie's sound Howie's weird too Howie's like that too right but I went out I got tons of celery and I may have to freeze it yet soon i may have to freeze a bunch of it until i get tomatoes um how he said oh you'll probably drive me down to the parkdale market i said well you know going to the market's one thing but whether or not they got what i need is another i mean i'm hearing reports a a lot of people's seeds got mixed up um a lot of people's seeds got mixed up so, like, when I, I never planted any hot peppers, I planted Missouri Bells, I think they're called. Missouri or, I don't know, they're, a, they're an early pepper. I think it's leftovers again tonight. We didn't finish them last night. Having problems growing celery, it goes to seed straight away. Well, what, did, what kind of celery did you plant? Because, you know, you can't plant the celery seed from your spice cupboard. It's a whole other ball game. That just does a little bush, like parsley almost. So, oh, it's a little dead leaf in there. So, I'm, uh, I made a pumpkin pie yesterday. No, I didn't make a video. I just, you know, it's getting that time of year and it was cool and... I just, you know, wanted Howie to have a nice dessert. So I said, you might want to bring home some whipped cream. He said, why? I said, because I'm making a pumpkin pie. And he goes, oh, goody. Hey, Wendy. I'm saying hello and then being silent. My arms and hands aren't working today. Oh, honey. Wendy's my sister, everybody. No, from the shop, celery ends. Ha. Huh. Well, <clears throat> My celery, I started from seed. And it's, uh, I, I'm going to be picking it this weekend, I think. I don't think I'm going to the races with Howie this weekend. Wendy! Wendy! Oh my God! I got like 30 pounds of zucchini. Ugh. And I'm not making a video of it because, well, yeah, I already got that video. Um, um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to chop it and, uh, blanch it and into the freezer it goes. I get tough as nails. Well, cause they're not, they're not, they're not the kind. They're, they're a commercial brand probably. Hey, Willow. Jean, when I plant celery ends, gets tough as nails. I've just being told I got fibromyalgia as well as PO, COPD. Oh my God. You know what, bum? It's, uh, I don't think people realize that our, that our environment has been so poisoned. Our food has been so poisoned. Our environment has been so poisoned over the years that we're just getting sick. The f think about this, right? 150 years ago, apple a day kept the doctor away. Now you got to have three. And now there's a lot of places that are putting their apples after harvest, the ones they're going to sell like individually and stuff. They're putting them in gas chambers and locking them. And they gas them for 24 hours. And then they have to vent for 24 hours. I'm doing okay, Willow. 
Um, hey, Gypsy Mama, how's it going? So, I don't know if I, 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 I may bring in my celery and freeze it. I still got celery canned, right? I may bring in my celery and freeze it like I'm doing with, um, with the zucchini. Going for my pneumonia shot in the morning hopefully will ward off this fall. I don't get shots, man. I don't get shots unless I absolutely have to. Because uh, I the last two flu shots I got, I got very sick. And it didn't dawn on me when I got Bell's palsy the day after a flu shot that it could have been the flu shot. Nothing as nutritious as it once was. That's right. That's why I like to grow things as organically as possible. Like I don't put pesticides or anything like that on my on my veg nothing so if i get less well that's that's that right like my my cabbages i'm dictating this in my phone i'm really sorry folks i can't really type in stuff today i love you lots and lots well just hang out with us when you don't have to talk just listen um i uh so if I have to, my brain just keeps flying. I um, I just want to, um, I guess I'm just going to freeze my celery, blanch it and freeze it. I don't even know if I have to blanch it. I should, I guess. Can green beans be frozen? Sure they can. Blanch them and freeze them. Um, but I, I don't like frozen green beans. I really don't. So, but my celery, like I like canned and I like dehydrated. I've got to save room for dehydrating some beans too. I'm just really grateful I got yellow beans because they seem to be the only thing that is actually that and the zucchini. You know what I mean? Like, look at these. They look flat. They are flat, right? And they don't look like they would be juicy, but listen. Okay, I got to eat it now. Excuse me. Mmm. You know, I could just sit if I had the teeth and just eat a whole bowl of raw beans. But we got to be thinking about winter. Hey, bourbon! Now, my mother in law gets her flu shot and her pneumonia shot and her five jabs and. But then she's always been really tolerant of medications, you know? I haven't. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's the chunk I took out of my finger. Yes. When you, you, when you, now you don't have, now listen carefully. You do not have to blanch celery to dehydrate it. But you have to cut that celery, those celery slices so thin you can see through them. So if you don't want to spend that much time slicing that, that thin, yes, blanch your celery before dehydrating. Don't just blanch them. Boil them for like three, bring it up to a boil and cook them for like three minutes. Or they will not rehydrate properly in your food. Right? Oh, I think I'm going to get three or four pints out of this picking of beans. But, am I missing chat? Oh, thanks, Wendy. So, the next time I do a live here in the kitchen, I'm going to ask Seashell to come on live with me. She can go on camera or just be voice so that she can moderate. <clears throat> oh, I can smell that roast cooking. I got to make a Yorkshire pud too. It's our last roast of that beef. And uh, I made spaghetti yesterday, but I sweetened the deal for Howie with a pumpkin pie. And there is one quarter of that pie left. Yes. My husband's pie, piece of pie, was a quarter of the pie. 
And then he split another quarter with me. Then he took a quarter to work today. So there's one quarter of the pie left and we'll split that and have it with whipped cream tonight. It's quite sweet. It was quite sweet. Can't wait for what? Hey, Jackie, how's it going? Mary Jane Will, hi. I should have put my headband on. But uh, there will be a little house live tonight. We have four more chapters. So I think that's going to be two more readings. Or I might do them all four tonight. Depends. It depends. You know the other night when I didn't get... Hi, Tina. I'm stating starting supper. I got... Yeah, I got a, I got a roast and, and whole potatoes in the oven. And I've got to heat up my... Um, Get my neeps and stuff soon. Whip up my Yorkshire pud. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to the races this weekend. I think I'll be uh, working on celery. Anyway, back to the celery. Um. So if I have if if I have to wait until I get tomatoes from the market. Um, what's going on? What's going on, bourbon? What did I miss? What's going on, bourbon? What? Oh, you say that night? Oh, the C-19. Okay. Chocolate zucchini bread's really good. Um, geez, I may have to make one. I don't have any chocolate chips, I don't think. Even with the microphone, I don't spell well. Oh, yeah, well. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that, bourbon. Um, so... I'm going to, if I, if I have to pick my celery soon and it looks like I'm going to, I am not going to dehydrate any. Well, I might, but I'm going to freeze it until I can get enough tomatoes to can zucchini, tomatoes, and celery together. Might even throw in a couple of them little hot peppers, but... Mm, that roast smells good. It's a video. One roast. How many meals? It's a cross. It's a cross rib roast, so the ribs are gonna go be going right into the crock pot. I'm almost done with the beans. Hey, Katrina, babe. You just make a regular zucchini bread. And you add, um, you add a third of a cup of cocoa. And if you want it really rich, use brown sugar. Use a third of a cup of cocoa. And then a half a cup of chocolate chips or up to a full cup. But mix half your chocolate chips in the batter and then sprinkle the rest on top. And bake. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I love double chocolate, chocolate, zucchini bread. Can you explain to everyone how I send you gifts in a card? Maybe others. What gifts in a card? Honey, don't worry about it. I'm. It's all good. I mean, people got more things to worry about than whether or not I, I'm still working. Things are going fine. Yes, I'm down. I'm making one third what I made last year, but that's because think about this. The advertise it's, you know, most of my income on YouTube comes from advertising, right? That's why it's always, you know, wonderful if you guys can watch the ads, right? 
first first on blood clots and lungs, second blood clots and heart, heart attack, two heart surgery. Okay, Bourbon, did she take the shot? Is that what you're saying? Um, I'm I'm gonna be okay, right? I just wish now that last year I had bought my wood stove when I was doing that um, making it stretch series. So, is this your mother? Put her in hospice. Nurse gave her COVID and she never recovered. Because she believed her doctor. Oh my God, Bourbon, I am so sorry. You know, the clots, I can't, I can't say it, but those, those things that happened to the heart and the lungs was probably because of that. And then the fact that she got COVID after that. Yeah, it's, it, it's, you know. And here people like me were called bigots and stuff. My insomnia is going hard the last few days. I have slept a total of five hours. First night was five hours, zero hours. Yeah, I hear you, sweetheart. I, uh, I am, um, I'm bound and bent. I'm going to get off the lorazepam. I'm down to a half of one night, right? And the other night I didn't get, hi, Angie. I didn't get, hi, Rodney. It's okay. It's, it's Rodney. Is it Mary Beth? Rodney, Mary Beth, I got it, yay! I got it right. Um, oh, no, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, the other night, I didn't get to sleep until uh, 7 o'clock the next morning. So I didn't get any sleep at all Sunday night. And then last night, I was in bed. That's why I didn't do the reading. I was in bed by 9 o'clock last night, lights out by 10. I slept until one, got up, had a pee, slept until six, got up, had a pee, and then slept until noon. So eat a banana with cinnamon before bed. I've tried it. I've tried boiling the skin, everything. Um, and, uh, and so it's like it took me... I don't know, 15 hours of broken sleep to catch up for the sleep I missed Sunday night. It, because it's not like you can get a regular night's sleep and everything's okay again. You have to make up for the law. Because especially when you've got fibro, right? So, but I was bound and bent. I wasn't taking another half of lorazepam. Because I'm going, I, I never did make my doctor's appointment. I'm going to be going to the doctor soon and I want to tell her. You know, cut my lorazepam down from 35 pills a month to 20, right? Because when I got 35, it's all too easy to go, oh, well, you know, I'm not sleeping. I better take, an, a, a, you know, a whole one. So I appreciate all of your good thoughts and prayers. They are very much appreciated. That's just, that's just heartbreaking, Bourbon. That really is heartbreaking. I slept, I didn't just sleep better last night. I, I died. I was just like, you know, boom, wake up for a pee, boom, wake up for a pee, boom. And when I woke up at, um, at, uh, seven this morning or whatever time it was, I woke up and I looked at the clock and went back to sleep until 10, looked at the clock, went back to sleep till noon. It's like, okay, I even made him. What are we talking about? Who's who who are you picking on here? What's going on? Honey, you've talked way too much because I can't okay. My insomnia, five hours, peach cobbler, and no one ate any. Ooh. I'd be a little pissed too. Medicaid medicine scare me. They interact with each other. They do. And that's a big problem in the cities because so many people flush leftover medications down the toilet. That there are some cities, oh look, I'm on my last bean. There are some cities <clears throat> that are um, 
That's about three pints, maybe four, and it's going in the fridge. Just put a cereal box on the table next. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'm just going to drop these in that basket. I'm going to put my zucchini in there. And then I'm going to rinse my, rinse my, oh man, I'm going to need this dish pan to put the zucchini in. All right, hang on. Uh, oh my God. I'm not ever going to complain about lack of zucchini again because <clears throat> How he doesn't like zucchini? Too bad. God gives us God gives us zucchini, we shall eat it. Who just said hi and I missed it? Hey, Chloe, how's it going? Kathy Ponder. Keep your current prescription and put some back and rotate. No, no, I'm not. I I I've done that with other meds. Um Okay, I'll be right back. I've got to I've got to put water in here. And I've got to put my uh I got to put my neeps on. Oh, and I got to put the beans in the fridge. So give me a second here, folks. tonight rutabagas and carrots from 2021 and a uh and parsnips i'm gonna put them all together and then i'm gonna mash them with butter a little bit of brown sugar i need a pot where's my church key I'm as happy as can be. All right, now let's put them on low so they can heat up. Now I need water for my zucchini. What, Gracie? What? Put some salt in the water. Gracie, you just came in. Oh, yeah, folks, I forgot to tell you. Give me a minute, I gotta fill this up. I forgot to tell you. You know how uh, we, we had a hard time socializing Gracie after Frankie left because they, they had been really mean with each other. East Texas had a cold front tonight. Um, so I, I'm going out to pick beans, right? Oh, hang on a second here. I'm going out to pick beans, right? So there we go. That's better. I hear Gracie woofing and barking, and it's like, never mind, I'm going out anyway. I'll take her for a run, right? Oh, thank you, God, for my chairs. Hey, Becky, how's it going? Barbara, hello. So I go out, and she takes off up the driveway. And then I look, and there's two horses standing in the middle of my driveway. And by the time I got my phone out, 
to go because Gracie was up there going nose to nose with the horses. Right? So I'm like, but I couldn't get a picture. I got a picture. One was at the top of the driveway and the other one was on the road. My neighbor's horses. They, uh, they've been doing that for years. They're escape artists. Oh, I got a hole there. I'm going to peel the bigger, peel most of the bigger zucchinis. Like I, I don't necessarily have to peel, peel, peel. I'm just taking most of the skin off. So that there ain't anything really, really tough. And, and I said to Howie, get used to zucchini. He said, I don't mind it as long as you chop it small. Okay. My, uh, one, my chopper that I got from uh, Timu, the lid broke. It's not broken, but the little thing you push down keeps popping out. So. You don't like zucchini, Gracie. You don't like zucchini, so. Don't get excited over the chopping sounds, okay? You don't like zucchini, I'm telling you. Zucchini peach jam sounds delicious. I did that once when the kids were small. You made it with jello. They did not like it. They did not like it. My family got spoiled by real jam. Where is my... You know what I should have done is I should have done it with the... Peeler here. Use the handle of the peeler. Hey, Kathy Ponder Willows. I cut them this small. How you'll never know where there's zucchini in there. I like chunks. Push the seed parts out. Mmm. Supper comes around, I may not be hungry. Therapist called? How did that go, Wen? The fires, last I heard, are about 250 miles away from where Seashell lives. My God, this is going to take forever. I'm just eating the guts out of them. Good for the bowels. Not even a whole zucchini. I never liked rhubarb as a kid. Now I don't mind it cooked with apples with for my yogurt. You know what the thing about rhubarb is? Is you gotta take out. Um, you gotta peel them. I can I can get Howie to eat rhubarb if I peel all the skin off, and then it doesn't make um it doesn't make strings. Does anyone know how you can roast zucchini seeds like pumpkin seeds? Yeah, of course you can. Mm, and when they're young like this, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that when I get some big seeds here. What's a pepito? Whoops. What our grandmothers went through without our conveniences? Really, eh? Forget grandmothers. My mother didn't have these conveniences. Oh, I'm going to 
itchy nose. Ah! Must be gonna kiss the fool. One zucchini down. Let's do a green one. I should make a zucchini apple pie, but I've got an, I've got apple pie filling in the pantry, so when they get to be this big, I definitely peel them. But you know what? Let me try something else first, though. Look, look, the back of this peeler, this dollar store peeler, works like a scoop. Now I can peel them after I've done this. Did you get to see much of Aaron when he was in the country, when? I, uh, I've kind of figured out that, uh, no, nah, never mind. I got a lot of family who doesn't speak to me because they think I'm a wing nut, you know? And it doesn't matter if the things I've said are the truth or not. Um, in order for them to accept what I say, would it, 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 it challenges their, their beliefs um, like, was it Paula's mom? Because she believed her doctor? Well, my, a lot of my family's like that. And, uh, they would rather just not talk to me, be polite to me in public at weddings and stuff like that. Some of them will be polite to me and tell me they love me. But they'll never interact. They'll never answer emails. They'll... And that's okay. Right? That's okay. Poo to them. You have been vindicated by looking at the world today. Yeah. Tell me about it. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions. That's right. You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. But the problem is today is that people who fell for a lot of the chaotic crap that's been going on in the world, that's how I get the only way I can say it, um, they, uh, in order for them to accept what I say, they would have to admit that they've been lied to. And that they were, that they, you know, that they've been fooled. And nobody likes to be called a fool, right? So it's like, okay, well, we just don't want to talk about it. We just don't want to talk about it. And that's okay. It is what it is. But it doesn't matter whether I'm vindicated or not. Oh, you mean a mock apple pie? Um, maybe Seashell or Linda can find that video and put it up. I, I made it for Howie. And the only mistake I made was saying, I bet you think that's an apple pie. He said, what, I, he said or I said, what kind of pie do you think that is? And he says, well, he said, I'm going to say then it's probably not apple. Zucchini? But he, got, he understood. But the thing was, it's because I tipped him off that it wasn't apple. Like when I told him last night I was making a pumpkin pie, he came home and said, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a green tomato thing. Or I said, no, when I said pumpkin pie, I mean pumpkin pie. And then he reminded me that I, you know, I uh, tried to trick him with his zucchini pie. But Howie is a weird guy with, when it comes to food textures, right? And so, and I said, yeah, but. And he said, no, if, if I hadn't tipped him off, he would never have known it wasn't an apple pie. Are the horses back, Gracie? Or is that daddy? I hope it's not daddy. I haven't, uh, 
I've got my Yorkshire pud made yet. This dish pan is going to be so full of zucchini. The old switcheroo, yeah, yeah. But you got to follow the instructions really carefully. Don't don't try and and change the recipe, okay? But uh, it turned out really good. Almost done a green zucchini here. Two zucchinis down and an entire dish pan to go. Hey, Nath, how's it going, honey? I'm sorry if I don't see everybody. It's just that I have to watch what I'm doing or I, you know, end up cutting myself and stuff. How are you doing today, Sherry? Whoops. Okay, one, one green zucchini done. I want to keep my seeds on the side here because I'm actually really enjoying them. That tasted like pumpkin seeds. Because that's older, newer, uh, bigger. Hi, Tina. Tina Harvey, not Tina Elliott. So, next I will probably be um, sitting here chopping celery for... Um, freezing. I'm going to dehydrate some. I'll probably dehydrate some and I'm going to freeze some. Um, peels. Oh, there was a peel on the floor. You don't like zucchini, Gracie. And when I get my tomatoes, I'm going to can. I'm going to can them with onions and whatever peppers I got in my garden and celery and zucchini. We shall see. Um, if you eat the seeds out of these, they're really good for your bowels. Unless, of course, you have diverticulitis, but, or is it locus? One's the illness and one is the infection. I can't see. Oh, it's starting to get hot. I love figs. Do you blanch celery to freeze? Yes. Yes. Because some of it's going to get dehydrated and some of it's going to be frozen, so they'll all get. Hillbilly? Hillbilly what? I can't process my produce quick enough. Tomatoes, peppers, and figs coming in all at once. Oh, my God. I uh, I won't be jealous. I'll be great. I'm I'm grateful for your bounty. This is this is God's little joke on me because I you know last year I planted two beds and everyone said oh you're gonna get so much zucchini you don't know what you're gonna do with it all and then I I you know I I barely had enough. Yeah, we still had some in the winter, but. I'd have all you could pick if you were, hey, Rebecca, if you were local, birds are having a field day. Oh, my gosh. I um, I may end up having to buy canned, if I have to buy canned tomatoes, uh, like I did with the cabbage, I'm fine with that, except that they're really getting expensive. But they should be on sale right now in the cans because the fresh should be ready. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if I could grind all this stuff and make zucchini bread out of it. It's a thought, right? I'm going to sit here and chop until Howard comes home. 
Then I'm going to make a Yorkshire pudding. <clears throat> Take my roast out of the oven and make a gravy while my pudding's cooking. I may be doing this tomorrow. Hey, barefoot! I've gotten it. I haven't gotten any. Well, I'll tell you. Um, uh, I've been worried, but what what I'm not getting in some things, God's making up for with zucchini. Like seriously, dude. My dish pan's half full. That was a yellow. Let's do a green. I'm going to have more yellow left. I don't think I'm going to grow crook neck squash again, though. I'm really not fond of it. I've been having a problem. I had a problem with my beans. I, I, it's not necessarily a problem because I am getting some. But that's all. The beans I've been getting all come out of one bed. So, great minds think alike. What did I miss? Heard when you blanch celery, use baking soda, and we'll keep it green. Oh, well, there's an idea. Oh, I'd love to be swimming in beans. But, I mean, I still have a couple of jars of beans left from last year. Gracie, what are you doing? What are you doing? I heard something. You're in the, well, what was that? In the bedroom, I just heard. If you're in the living room. Oh, fall is coming early. Need another freezer. No, I got three freezers. Plus my one in the, in the kitchen here. Okay. I'll slice you down the center. Take your guts out. <clears throat> Yeah, it's easier to take the guts out before you peel because this, this gets slippery to hang on to. Okay. But I might let those beans sit in the fridge. They're in water. One is going to be filled. Well, one is filled with flour. I've got two 50-pound bags in my small freezer in the porch. Um, I still have a bag of rice I've got to put in jars. And I put my vegetables in the pantry freezer. If you're going to... Blanch and flash freeze onions on cookie sheets to bag up. Don't put them in. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Don't put them in uh, in the same freezer as flour. Even though my flour was in one gallon bags, you could still smell the onions in the flour. It went right through the plastic. So I have a, a freezer dedicated for like flour. And when, when I'm done canning up all the flour or bagging up all the flour, um, I'm going to, uh, I'll, that freezer will be used for flour and vegetables. Red and yellow peppers have some hot pepper seeds in the pack. Yeah, all peppers got mixed up. Seems like everybody who got, everybody's had problem with peppers. Some people have had problem with squash. Somebody planted zucchini and ended up with acorn squash. Someone planted zucchini and ended up with three different kinds of squash. Right? So, we'll see. Oh, man. These are going to have to be blanched and in the freezer tonight because this dish pan's full. Almost. And that's almost a cookie sheet.
I'll never complain for the lack of zucchini ever again. Because God's got a sense of humor. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. I'm not going to tell you the joke. Hey, Autumn Leaf, how are you? It's been a long time. I'm going to be probably bagging up a lot of my flour. Um, I got to see how many half gallon jars I have, but I like to keep them for things like rice and carrots, like dehydrated carrots and stuff like that. I planted bush beans. Yeah, and that's another thing. The yellow beans I planted were all pole beans and I got bush beans in them. So I don't know what's going on. All right, you have to have your center pushed out. Too many seeds. Mm, oh, wow. The yellow zucchini are sweeter. The yellow zucchini are sweeter. Maybe it's because the last seeds I ate came out of the um, big green zucchini. But the yellow zucchini seem to be... See, look, I'm sorry I'm eating on camera, guys, but look, I just do this. I planted table squash and we're all white pumpkins. You see what I mean? Don't tell me it's... Do you think it could be deliberate? Like it's, you know... Mess with our weather. Mess with our air. Mess with our soil. And then mess with our seeds. Mock pineapple. See, we're not big pineapple, folks. But it would be nice if I could make mock pineapple, dehydrate it, or dry it, and then use it in my fruitcakes. My... The seed she's getting is from China. Oh, my God. Hey, Cricket Cricket! I order mine from New Brunswick, from Rainbow Seeds in New Brunswick. One more zucchini down. I got to get my pot on. Does anyone know how to make sunflower seeds to eat? I have two big sunflowers and don't know what to do with the seeds. You toast them, you shell them. Unless you want them raw. Look, guys. Dish pan. Still. All right. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to make laundry soap. If I'm not canning beans. All right, I got to get a, I got to get my stock pot on. Oh! It's going to take a few minutes for that pot to get water in it. It's a big one. I don't have to peel the whole thing. I roast my sunflower seeds in the oven or leave them on the heads for winter to lay out for the birds. 
I don't even grow sunflowers. I got, I, I've got to have things, you know, room for things that I'm going to, so disappointed in the beans, but I hope they'll come. And I, I went out and I shook them on each other. I am losing stuff. I still have not found the remote for my... Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. I still haven't found the remote for my uh, clouds. And I, what the sad part of that is I have two remotes. Can't find either one. All right, we shall continue to chop until uh, that water's ready. I got inspired by you yesterday and put a roast in the slow cooker last night. Mmm. You've never tried to make it, Kathy? It's really easy. There's just a few hard and fast rules. Cuppa, cuppa, cuppa. Cup of flour, cup of milk, cup of eggs, okay? You can say four large eggs, whatever, but the truth is, is if you go by liquid measurement, then you're, you're never going to get it wrong. You need a cup of eggs, a cup of milk, a cup of flour. You need to put your pan with drippings or oil in the bottom, your, your casserole dish, I'm actually only going to make a half of one. Um, half a cup of milk, half a cup of flour, and two eggs. Because we don't need a, an entire Yorkshire pudding. Used to make big garbage bag. Take a big garbage bag and cover a hornet's nest at night. And we put it in the freezer for the winter birds. Ooh. You can just cut it off with a... You know, take put it in a paper bag and then uh, put it in the freezer and then light it on fire. But I like the idea of giving it to the birds. I really do. I'm going to have to start another bowl. Because I don't think... Yeah, this is almost full. Oh, well. Not going to complain about Bounty. Hey! Hi, Edie. How's it going? Yellow crook neck squash. I'm not going to plant them anymore. Unless, of course, the seeds I save have been crossed with these. And that'll be fine, too. That will be fine. Oh, yeah. These are so full of seeds. These yellow crook neck squashes. They're so full of seeds. Like, there's more seeds than flesh on these. How's Evangeline? Sounds like a song title. Evangeline. I'm down to my last green zucchini. don't necessarily have to take all the peel off because the peel is where a lot of the nutrients are, but I just don't want anybody getting a tough piece of peel. So I just kind of stripe it.
Am I missing the chat? How do I de- I don't dehydrate zucchini. I, I've tried it, wasn't fond of it. I blanch it and I freeze it. And, and I, when it comes time to can my tomatoes, I'll be canning it with zuc tomatoes, zucchini, onions, peppers, celery, whatever I got going. Yeah, that's the last that I can fit in this dish pan. Oops. I'm going to go and I got to take these out of here because I'm going to be using this to strain it before it goes into Ooh! There goes the zucchini onto the floor. Now first, I got to find something to put all this. compost in. Oh, I don't want to get up. Dehydrate the peeling and powder it for soups and stews. Ooh. There's an idea. There's a great idea. Mm. Mm -mm. But... Are you sure I'm going to have more zucchini coming in? Oh. <clears throat> this bucket's got to be washed anyway before I make laundry soap. So we'll use it for the compost right now. One of these days, my ravine's going to be a beautiful garden. I hope I live to see it. Just the dishwasher, Gracie. All right, now I have to go and drain this dish pan so it's ready for when the water boils. Oh my God. All right, the strainer sitting on the draining board. You can just see it right there at the tip of my finger. Oh, oh my gosh. Dehydrated zucchini then powder can be substituted for flour in a recipe. Suggest half cup maximum per recipe, but it helps. Oh, that's an idea. What? Gracie, you're a pain in my rectal region. See, this is me every day, folks. I know, it's boring, isn't it? Yeah, I ain't plant and cook crook neck squash anymore. Like, even this small, look how, look at, they're full of seeds. So, pop them out. 
Room in the bucket. Hey, Diana Zook. I have powdered zucchini and stuck it in Supal. Ready, it works out great and is similar to a chicken or depending on how much you, I'm not sure I understand that. Could you repeat that or explain it? I can't, I'm not sure I'm understanding what you're trying to tell me. I had my grandson this summer on our farm. He's a big city kid, age seven. Boy, we all cried yesterday. My house is silent and empty. Thank God for Bev and family here. Oh, Kathy. Well, I'm glad you had your grandson with you. I'm, uh, they're renovating their house. And so it's not really convenient for me to visit. And they're so busy, it's not. It's not easy for them to visit, so it'll be a bit before I get to see my grandson, other than on FaceTime, which we always have a blast, even if it's only for 10 minutes, right? All right. Last big green zucchini. And that's why I planned it all, planned all zucchini this year, but the seeds in the package of three different kind of yellow squash instead of zucchini. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, start buying your seeds from local sources. Like, yeah, New Brunswick isn't local, but the person I'm getting the seeds from is a fairly small company and they're just starting to grow. And I've had no problem with their seeds, none. So. I'm going to keep my eye on you, um, they're called, if you're Canadian, they're called rainbowseeds.ca and they're from New Brunswick. Oh my goodness. Anyway, folks, I'm, uh, Howie's going to be home any minute. So I just got to finish this up and I've got to get my Yorkshire pudding ready to go in the oven. So I should get off here now and uh, finish up my work. I will be reading live, uh, Little House Live tonight at 9. But from supper until 9, it's me or 8.30, it's mine and Howie's time. And I'm almost done with the zucchini. So I appreciate you guys, even though I, I can't really pay a whole lot of attention. I'm going to see if I can get some tomatoes at the farmer's market next weekend. Um, we shall see. We shall see. I may have to start bring mine in and start laying them. Um in brown paper bags. I'm ripening in the house. I love these centers. Hi, Joni D. Try again next time. What did I miss? Our son was deployed when his son was born. He talked to him every day, and when he came home, there was no strange anxiety. The only, ang well, there was no anxiety with um, Bubba when I met him, but the look on his face was, you are much bigger in real life, because he's used to seeing me on the phone. And Gracie's in my chair with her head on her paws, watching out the window for Daddy to come home. Anyway, 
I have to go and I think I may be able to fit all of the zucchini into that pot. We'll see. I love you guys. Take care. God bless, but I'm about to go on hubby time. I love you. Take care. God bless. And if I'm chopping it, let me know if you want me to come on live while I'm chopping in the kitchen. Okay? This isn't a video for the simple reason is I've already done one. Right? And it's getting hot in here. I love you guys. God bless.